Network. Up next is UConn, head coach Randy Edsel. UConn is 1-10 in overall, 0-7 in, in the American. Huskies played at ECU last Saturday. Uh, ECU won the game 55-21. to UConn returns to action this Saturday. They'll be against Temple at Pratt & Whitney Stadium in East Hartford, 3.30 Eastern on ESPNU. Coach, thank you for joining us on the call today. If you just take a minute to tie up the game at ECU, please. And we expect to see you back at home uh, Saturday against Temple. Well, first of all, just want to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving and hope they enjoy that with their family and friends on Thursday. Um, yeah, we, you know, again, against East Carolina, we did some good things early on. Offensively, you know, we were good in the red zone, scored on our first three possessions. Um, then we had a couple turnovers before the half that, um, you know, hurt us a little bit and then kind of lost some confidence, I think, feeling like we, you know, got to score every time and we didn't. And, uh, hurt us, and then you know, defensively, it's the same thing. You know, all these young kids that we're playing, and we can we can sustain it for a, a while, but then uh, we end up uh, giving up the big plays, which really which really hurt us. And um, you know, now we look forward to uh, playing Temple, a team that's really good, physical, uh, you know, doing a lot of good things, and uh, you know, closing out the year here at home and honoring our seniors and thanking them for everything they've done for our program over their either four or five years. Any questions for Coach Randy Edsel, please? Star 1 on your telephone keypad will put you in the queue, and the operator will introduce you. And we'll go to Mark Naroducci with Philadelphia Inquirer. Hey, Coach, I just wanted to ask, as you're preparing for Temple, can you give me your impressions on Isaiah Wright? He's a Connecticut kid. He's the AAC Special Teams Player of the Week. Just what you've seen of him uh, coaching against him and on film. Uh, you know, he's a good, solid football player, just like a lot of their players, and um, somebody that's doing a real good job for him. Um, as far as you guys being in the position you're in, you're the underdog, you've been there a lot of times, do you almost look at this last game as you have nothing to lose and, and maybe you can be a little carefree and take some gambles? Uh, we've been doing that all year long. If you notice how we go for it on fourth down as much as we do and everything else, you know, we're just trying to build our program. I mean, we still got we still got a ways to go. When, you, when you're playing as many young kids as we're playing, um, it's not going to be good. And um, but they're the best guys that you have. And right now, they've you know they've never played this many games or have gone this long uh, in their seasons. They're not big enough. They're not strong enough yet. But they're they're trying and they're working. They're competing. They're learning from these things, and they'll be better for it. And um, you know, that's all you can do. But we've, we've, trust me, we've been playing a, you know, uh, no holds barred pretty much all season long. We've been taking a lot of, a lot of risk, you know, because, you know, again, we, we don't, I mean, in any game, you don't have anything to lose. So, um, no, we've just been, we'll, we'll continue to play the way we've been playing. Thank you. Yep, have a good one. You too, thanks. Moving on, we'll go to Dan Totoro, wakeupcalldt.com. Good morning, Coach. How are you? Good. How you doing? Doing well. Just what you can say about, like you said, you know, obviously this team's going to take some time. You're trying to build this program. Just what you've seen from the young men within the program as you're going through this building phase and how, you know, it is a what have you done for me lately society, but you as a coach know that it obviously has to take some time to build what you want to build. And the big, you know, the best things that are made are the ones that aren't built in a day. They're the ones that are built over time. So just the importance of what you're doing there at UConn. Well, again, you got to understand Connecticut too. You know, I mean, you take a look at when when we made the move to go to Division One AA from One AA to One A. It's, it, I mean, it's so recent. And then, you know, you have to have a, you know, again, when you take a look from a recruiting standpoint, you don't have a great recruiting area. Uh, the number of players, like you, like you know, Temple, the Florida schools, the Texas schools, uh, East Carolina, you know, those 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 situations. So, you know, and to find the right young men, there's things here that we have academically that we can't do some of the things that other people do. So, you got to recruit the right type of young men to come here. And uh, you know, when we did it before, we did it that way. And then I think, you know. People got away from that, and so now we've got to go back and build it from the ground up. And, you know, when you're going to be good here, it's because your fourth and fifth-year seniors 
have, have played, they have experience, they're your best players on the team. And when they're not, you know, it's, it's hard to win when you've got the young guys and you look out there and you see the difference just body types of the people that you're going against. So, you know, the most important part for us is going to be once this season's over is for all these young guys, these freshmen and redshirt freshmen, to have that time in the weight room and to get bigger and stronger to allow ourselves to have a better opportunity to compete on the field from a physical standpoint first and foremost. And then, you know, we got to get them up to speed, continue to get them up to speed from a mental standpoint in terms of playing the game and understanding, you know, the game better. And when you can redshirt guys and then they're on special teams that redshirt freshman year, those are the things you have a chance to develop. them. We haven't had that opportunity yet, you know, and that might, we might not get that opportunity to do that with our freshmen for, you know, if, you know, this recruiting class, those, some of those kids are probably going to have to play. And it, we're not going to be able to do that with the other ones. And if you take a look at, you know, where we are, it's just it's where we are. And I'm not worried about it. I know what we need to do. And, and uh, I'm not, I don't worry about the outside noise or anything like that. And you see these young kids really developing, and you see guys that have really grown throughout the year. But like I said, physically and mentally, they, they shouldn't even be put in this position, but that's the position we inherited when we got here, and then we're and we're dealing with it. And what, as a head coach, what keeps you hungry and focused in this? What made you want to come back and and create a better future for UConn? What is that kind of driving force for you to do something special with this program? Well, it's when you put your heart and soul into making it what it was <clears throat> where we got to in 2010. And then you just saw it going the other way. And once I got here, I knew things were going to get worse before they got better. But it was just the fact that, um, you know, for the people here who have made the investment at the university and the state and, um, you know, the people within the program, our donors, and you know, I just felt that, uh, you know, I could come back here and, and hopefully work to, you know, get us back to where we were before. And, you know, we're not, we're not going to be – you know, we're going to be a program here as we continue to get it going that, you know, hey, yeah, you want to get yourself in a position where you're bowl eligible every year. But, you know, you're not going to be a program. And, and this is the thing. You know, people have to understand who you are. And there's too many wannabes out there that don't know how to be, you know, in college athletics. And, you know, here, if you've got these kids competing and then you're competing for championships, you know, because of the situation and because of where you are. And that's what people always have to understand, but it's gotten away from that because of the money and because of, you know, everybody wants to win now and do whatever you can. And, you know, and it's just uh, it's gotten way out of whack, but my priorities aren't going to get way out of whack, that's for sure. Well, thank you, Coach. I appreciate your time and good luck moving forward. All right, appreciate it. Coach, thanks so much for your time today and, and all year all year round. Uh, happy Thanksgiving to you and the Huskies, and best of luck going forward.